I don't know what's going on, but we got to do something to get boxing back on track in the U.S. Boxing fans here in Liverpool, it's fight week. We've got the legendary Buddy Maga with us. First of all, Buddy, it's always good seeing you. You should buy a house in the UK now. <laughs> the amount of times we see you in the UK. Exactly. You should, should be buying a house. Find yourself something, man. How's things? How's life? Everything's great. I can't complain. Um, let's talk about why you're here. One of your charges, Khalil Majid, is yeah. fighting on uh, the undercard of Catro Vessel Linares. Yes. Good fight in the main event, so a good time to impress for Khalil. Just talk to me about Khalil. What, how's he been in the gym? We've seen him in the UK recently, but just talk to me about what you sort of see from Khalil. I see a young man that uh, is a future world champion. You know what I mean? Uh, he's got a ways to go, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? But he's been brought along properly. And um, in the gym, he's always willing to learn. And more importantly, he listens. It's obviously very early in his career to say how far can this kid go. But what, in regards to levels, and you, you're a very realistic guy, but you know sort of fighters on their levels. You know if someone's a world-class fighter, Khalil, in your eyes, you know, potentially, what's his ceiling? Well, you know, I think they're bringing him along right, you know, fighting the type of guys he's fighting, getting him ready for the next level. And he's come along very well, you know, he's been sparring nice guys, and, but what I like about him is his work ethic in the gym. And the kid can fight, man. He can really fight. He did show that last time in Birmingham as well. Uh, let's talk about a few of the other fighters, Callum Smith. Um, just, to, just talk to me about him. Obviously, we know that there was an auto bet to be a fight going on. Obviously, yes. being delayed. What's, what's, what's the latest in regards to his camp? Well, that fight's January 13th. And uh, he come back into camp? Is he still sort we're of going to start back next week. Okay. And uh, for, for you to beat someone like auto bet to be able, we know Callum's a very astute fighter, very experienced former world champion. We know Art has got that granite chin that he showed against Anthony Yard. But do you feel like it's the right time to fight someone like uh, like well, Art Better Beer? Um, better Beer, even though he's up there in age, he's still Better Beer. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not looking at his age. I'm looking at a young, strong, determined world champion. So we just got to be prepared for the best Better Beer. And just run me down with the, your other fighters in the gym. Just uh, let's go through them. I know Dan Aziz with you, was with yourself, obviously. Yes. Sustained an injury. Just talk to me about that one. Well, you know, Monday he was complaining about his back on Monday. And then on Tuesday they said the fight was off. Okay. As simple as that. Simple as that, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, Monday he's like, yo, my back is bothering me. I said, go get it checked. And then Tuesday they said the fight was off. Interesting. Uh, we still scheduled for that fight at some point, so yeah. I'm sure at some point when he's better, you're going to start to camp yeah. again. Just talk to me about the other fighters you've got in your in your gym right now that who you're working with. Well, uh, let me see. I got a kid named Zizzo. Uh, his name is Ziad, but I can't pronounce his last name. From Saudi, right? Yeah, from Saudi. Yes, you know. I mean, and um, and I, I got a couple of guys that I'm supposed to meet with in about a week, so I don't want to say anything until I meet with them. Interesting, interesting. Um, let's talk about a bit of boxing outside all of this. We had the press conference for Regis Progre. Devin Haney got a bit heated between Bill Haney and uh, uh, Erin. What did you make of? Did you see the press conference no, first I didn't of all? see the press conference. What do you make of that fight first of all? It's going to be a good fight. I think it's a fight boxing needs. Two young guys who with a lot of talent. So it's going to be an interesting fight. How does that fight play out? That I, won't, I can't answer. I just got to sit back and check it out like everybody else. Uh, in regards to uh, the fight that's happening in Saudi next weekend, Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou, we know the bigger picture is Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. Do you feel like a lot of people that I talk to say is Tyson's too big, too strong for Alexander Usyk? Do you, f do you share that sentiment or do you feel like Usyk's feet are quick enough to cause upset? I think that Fury is just too big, man. And he knows how to use his size well. And that's one thing he knows how to do is use it to his advantage. But it's still going to be a good fight, though. Eddie Hearn came onto one of sort of the famous podcasts that we've got in the UK involving some very famous footballers called um, The Overlap. In that he said Tyson didn't really want that fight, but that fight, the money was so big that he had to take that fight. Do you feel that Tyson is like that or do you feel like he's willing to fight everyone, he's a fighter? I think he'd fight anyone. Buddy, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. To you. Actually, before I do let you go, we heard the sad news of Showtime and HBO, no more involved in boxing in the US. What do you make of that? Because that's sad. Obviously, everyone's been watching, yeah, man, watching it's, that. It's, it's sad, man. It's sad. You know what I mean? I mean, listen, HBO and Showtime, a lot of fighters develop their career on those channels, including myself. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what's going on, but we got to do something to get boxing back on track in the U.S. 100%. But you make it always a pleasure, sir. And uh, no doubt, I'll see you soon and speak to you soon. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Talk All right,